Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about something that seems small and is most of the times overlooked, but it is actually very important and it can change the power of your email significantly. I'm talking about email signatures. In today's video, I will talk about why email signatures matter, why they're important, uh, what to include in an ideal email signature, and I will also provide a few ideas on how you can create your own email signature. So if this sounds interesting to you, then keep on watching. Let's get started. Email signature is actually one of the first things that comes to mind when you launch a new business or you're launching a new project or you have a new email address. It is one of the first things that you should do under the email settings in my opinion and here is why. Think of email signatures as the perfect opportunity to brand every message that you're sending. It is basically like a digital business card that you can attach to every message that you send and it will leave a good and confident impression to the reader as well as making it more easier for them to find extra information on you across the web. Here are five reasons why I think email signatures matter so much. Number one, they are your digital business card. Number two, it shows the reader that you're taking your personal or professional brand seriously. Number three, it shows professionalism in my opinion. Number four, it's a chance to share your relevant links. Number five, it's also personal association when you're attaching an image of yourself with the email signature. So if you're convinced about why email signatures matter and that you need one immediately, Let's start talking about how a good email signature can be built and what needs to be on your email signature. Okay, let's start with the simplest thing. Include your full name on your email signature. You could consider using a bigger font or underlining or bolding your full names. So it is the first thing that attracts attention. Second thing is your email address and make sure that your email address looks professional. This is really important. I think all of us have probably come across some emails that have random words in it, uh, such as like pretty butterfly at hotmail.com, etc, etc. So you don't want that because essentially the reason why you have this email signature is to show your professionalism. So make sure your email address, ideally, it should have your first name and last name. So it is easier for your contacts to find your email uh, when they enter in the keywords your first name and last name. Number three is your telephone number and if it's a cell phone number, if it's a uh, landline, you could mention that in a parentheses in small fonts maybe. And also don't forget to add the correct prefix with your telephone number. So if it's a country prefix, don't think that everyone that is reading your email is a local and they will know the correct prefix of where you are living. And number four is the best one for me. This is the one that I like the most and this is including your active social media sites and your website. So this could include your website, your YouTube channel, your blog, social media sites that you think are relevant to your readers. So if your Facebook account is very irrelevant, if the content that you share on Facebook is very personal and you don't think that it's really a value to your contacts that you're uh, reaching out with your email, then just leave that out. Just uh, be your own judge and include whichever ones that you think would be relevant and valuable for your readers. Now that we know what an ideal email signature needs to include as a content, let me take you through my own email signature that I built on HubSpot Email Signature Generator. And I will also take you through this tool and how you can use it to create your own email signature, which is super simple and fast. And at this point, I want to actually show you my screen, but before I do that, I have a little story about this HubSpot email signature generator. As you may know from my other videos, HubSpot is my love brand, so I, I'm a fan of their tools and I have actually been using this email signature generator probably since day one of its launch and a few years later of using the tool uh, I came across an article. So I follow Ryan Bonici on LinkedIn and right now he is the CMO of a great company called G2 but back in the day he actually held a senior position in the marketing department at HubSpot as well. So after he moved to G2, he published an article that was called The World's Most Effective B2B Campaign. So the title is super attractive for a B2B marketer like me. And I instantly go on and read this article and it's a perfect article. I will definitely share the link below if you're interested in reading more about this successful campaign. So in that article, he talks in depth about how they came up with this HubSpot email signature generator idea 
and the budget that they invested in this project and the revenue they made out of this project. It is absolutely insane and it's a must read article if you're interested in content marketing in my opinion. So I will make sure to link his article uh, down below in the description box. After watching this video you can read his story about the email signature generator tool and that whole project and how it was a successful campaign. So now let's move on to my screen. I will show you how this HubSpot's email signature tool works and how you can build your own signature. And just a note, you don't have to use this email signature tool at all. It's just very convenient and that's the main reason I'm using this. But if you prefer to, you can just simply create your own email signature within the signature box in Outlook or Gmail, whichever platform you're using for your email. And by entering the link uh, of the HubSpot email signature generator and I will actually put this link in the description box below so you don't have to search for it. Um, okay, here we are. It is super simple. It starts with the it starts with selecting your template, and there are six template options provided by HubSpot. And I'm sure these templates have gone through some research, and they have probably looked at some best practices. So I am confident that these are really solid templates that you could just uh, use as a start. Uh, right now, I have template one. It is actually the template that I use with my own signature, which I will show you in a second. I really like this format. I think it's just very sleek, it's easy, and I like it. Anyhow, so selecting with the template and then you can move on to entering your signature details. Um, you can write your first name, last name, as we mentioned, job title if you hold a position at a company, your department if you wanted to, which I don't, um, and then a company name, if it's a professional brand, um, then your phone numbers, websites, email, and address, an actual uh, home or office address if you wanted to. So you enter all of your information on this link and also your social links as well. And if you have bonus content, then you can also add that, uh, which isn't something that I did. And then the third one, which I like the most, is actually stylizing your signature, changing the colors. Whichever color fits your professional or personal brand, you can just change it to your taste. And you can also change the fonts. And I think they have like seven options here. And you can also change the font size. So it's not incredibly custom. Uh, so you can't really make it very, very customized. Uh, but you can still play around with a few things and I think it's it's pretty sufficient and Then the final option is to add your profile picture your company logo if you want to create a custom CTA Like I did in my own signature, which I will show you uh, you can add that and Again, if you have a CTA, then you can change its color uh, or you can add a custom CTA image as well by uh, inserting a link from your uh, from your Dropbox or from your G Drive or wherever it may be. And let me show you very quickly how my own email signature looks like as well. Yep, so this is currently my email signature. I have my YouTube channel CTA as I mentioned. I have my social media links. And as you see, I don't have Facebook because I thought that my Facebook account is not really relevant. And this email signature was created for my personal brand and not business. So uh, hence no company name and no official position. And yeah, my phone number, my email address and my website. So it's pretty simple, it has an image that looks professional and shows my face clearly. So that is all. And once you're done with your email signature, all you have to do is simply um, copy the source code or, or just simply copy. There are three copying options. The option that I did was just copy and then go ahead and paste it into my Gmail email signature settings box. And I was done and that was all. And let's switch back to the camera. So I hope that I've been able to convince you on why email signatures matter and that you need one today after watching this video, if you did not have one already, it is going to take you maximum 5-10 to 10 minutes of your time today, but the impact that it will have is probably going to be significant, so you want to try this. And I have an idea, when you create your email signature, if you want to get some feedback, if you want to share your information, why don't you take a screenshot and 
uh, link the image of your email signature below in the comment section. If you want feedback from me or the community who is watching this video, you can ask for it and we'll be here. I hope you found the information valuable and useful as always, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.